Well, hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. Once again, thank you for choosing to spend a few moments of your precious time with me. I know that uh, time is an extremely valuable commodity and we never seem to have enough of it. Today, I'm going to show you a small Costco haul that I had to do. Uh, we could have spent easily a thousand dollars there. You know what Costco's like. But we just have to be more careful than that. We we can't always do an outlay like that. Very seldom can we do an outlay like that. And probably most of the people that watch this channel are in the same boat as us. Maybe you can. I certainly cast no judgments. But uh, I just know that we have to be very careful. So I'm going to show you that. And I'm also going to talk about a couple of little things that we have noticed this week. Or maybe that we have noticed. Yeah, I guess that's the right terminology. Sort of just casual observances, okay? So I'll get busy right now, show you the stuff that I picked up. I also went to Lawton's and grabbed just a couple of things and I'll show you that too. They're right here together. So anyway, stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna start right here, I guess. In an effort to save a bit of time, and it does save time, I've been using the dishwasher a little more. And one of my biggest complaints about it before was that it just didn't really clean the dishes. Simple fact of the matter is, you need to use two of these every time you wash. You drop one in the machine, I usually put it in the little thing there that you put the silverware in, and then I put one in the thing on the door that opens whenever it's supposed to open. If you put the two in, and that sunlight rinse agent that I use, the dishes, they come out perfectly clean, they feel clean, and they just are clean. On that note, let me mention right now, many people have commented that they use vinegar in their dishwasher. And in the research that I've done, I've come to find that vinegar is very, very caustic, really. Uh, not as bad as sulfuric acid, of course, but it's only one point on that seven point scale away. And it will ruin the rubbers in your appliances, dishwashers, washing machines, whatever you're using it in, it will ruin them and it will eventually dull the stainless finish in a dishwasher. So that's not recommended. But anyway, these work really well. So I got them at Costco. I got two cans of this Maxwell House coffee that I drink, but I got them from Lawton's. And I will show you. The sales they put on, they say, like these were $8.99 if you use this little scene card. So all that is, for those of you that aren't in Canada, this is like a membership card, a club card almost. You can get it with a credit card attachment, but I don't need another credit card, so I just use that scene card. But with the scene card, the Maxwell House coffee was $8.99. So that's a pretty good buy. I got one package of these. Michelle and I both enjoy them, and they're, they're easy, and they're not really that bad of people. Anyway, yeah. I got two boxes of these Southern Crunch Wings. We both like them very much, so I got two of them. We haven't had them for a while, so anyway, we just thought we would. Also, this bacon, this came from Lawton's as well. They had plenty of it this time. Could have bought more, I just didn't. $3.99 with the scene card. Also from Costco, I picked up 30 eggs. I have saved out like the cartons one dozen cartons, eight cartons. I've saved them out. I will take these out of out of those or out of this package here, put them in the egg cartons to put them in the fridge. That way, they just store easier, right? Now, this sunlight right here. I still hand wash dishes a fair bit, and I, quite frankly, I use this for washing my hands and stuff like that, and I. Put it in the smaller bottles that I have here and probably I have 
three of them and I'll fill them up and most of this will be gone. I probably could have bought two or three of them and stored them away, no problem, you know what I mean? But I just got the one for today, uh, next trip, depending on what we have to get, maybe I will buy a couple of them. These are the large garbage bags that we use and I'm a fan of these Kirkland garbage bags. They're the ones with the drawstring. Force Force tech, Flex Tech, they call it. Uh, the other leading brand is Force Flex. Probably made in the same place, but I don't know for sure because my experience, these are the best bags, garbage bags, that I've ever used. And they're not that expensive, so... Well, especially from Costco, right? I think there's 90 bags in there, yeah. And the price is gonna be $22. I'm sure Michelle's gonna put it up, but they work very well, they're very strong. And only very rarely will I poke a hole in one going to the garbage with them. These here, we use them for kitchen bags and stuff like that. And they work very great, or very well. And very rarely do I need to buy uh, both kinds at the same time, but for whatever reason this time, that's the way it worked out. I also got this here, and huh, yeah, I actually use it with cereal when I need to sweeten the cereal. So that's what I like, that's what I use. So if I die, well, I die. And also, I've had many, many, many of you tell me that the Kirkland brand batteries are just as good as Duracell. And I'll tell you what else that I discovered. They're about half as much money. And you'll see, this is a package of 48 batteries. There was $4 and, no, $4 discount right at the cash register. Made them $12.99 for 48 batteries. And I'm going to try them. I'm pretty near out of the AAAs. So I'm gonna give them a try. Many of you have told me that they are every bit as good as the Duracells. So we're gonna find out. And they had the double A's were the same price for 48 batteries. And you know, I almost picked up one of them too. I just didn't this time. Because I was trying to stay within the budget Michelle gave me. Gave me. And of course, Kirkland bath tissue. We've got two, two packages of them. So that'll do us for a little while. So that is what I got from Costco today. Now I do have to go to Walmart and just pick up three or four little things, kitty litter, stuff that they didn't have when we did the last grocery order. So just a few things and they will not be in this video, I think. And I got another video to start right away and I'll show you at the beginning of that if I do indeed get there today. Okay, my friends. This is a little, a little odd, a little unorthodox, maybe even a little unprofessional. But Michelle has asked me to just take the receipt from Costco and read it off because she's not feeling very well today. I pray and pray, and I know some of you do too, and we appreciate it. But any, at any rate, she's not feeling very well today. And she wanted me to, read these out i've already put everything away except for the garbage bags and the dish soap basically so I'm, I'm gonna do this rather than redo the video right so here we go if you remember what we got the uh kirkland bathroom tissue each package 21.49 the eggs for 30 eggs, 30 large eggs, 969. I'm doing that old man thing there, right? Not to offend old people. I am one of you. The uh, sweetener, 14.99, which is this. The sunlight dish soap, 4.4 liters, 14 or no, uh, 11.49. Sorry. The wings, each box, $16.99. The ham and swish, ham, yeah, ham and Swiss, $13.99. Those batteries, 
regular price $16.99, but when I rang them in, uh, there was a $4 discount on them. So $12.99 for 48 AAA batteries. I'm hoping they're as good as what you tell me they are. The uh, dish washing machine pods, $21.99 and the same deal at the cash register. There was a $4.50 discount. Really good price. I, I should have got two maybe. Uh, the large black garbage bags, $21.99 and they're well worth it. The white bags, $19.99 and they are worth it too they last us a long time we i mean i use them for things like the kitty litter and this and that and so we use them a lot right so the total was 199 dollars and 58 cents and we had 19 dollars and four cents tax on that for a total of 218.62 right all things considered we're blessed and we know it. So that's what the prices were. Stay tuned. Where this appears, I do not know. Okay, so here, and I'm gonna try to be very brief with this. Here are the things that we kind of noticed this week. I'm gonna start with the, the, on the medical front. I called my doctor this week, like Monday was New Year's Day. So I called my doctor on Wednesday, I remembered. That's my big problem is remembering to call. I needed to get some prescriptions refilled. So I called and I got the answering machine. And that's no surprise, usually you do. Get the answering machine and they'll call you back. So here was what the message said. At the time I called, the office was closed, but the message said this. It said, our office is open. This was January 3rd. The office is open from nine to 11.30 a.m both Wednesday and Thursday. So three and a half hours they were open on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday they're usually closed, but I suppose because Monday was New Year's Day, they were open on Friday and it said their office hours were from 9.30 to 3.30 and they're off for lunch from 12.30 to 1.30. Then it said, if this is an emergency, call 911 or visit your local emergency room, okay? So, the reason this was alarming was because this past weekend, over at our, our hospital here across the river, the Dr. Everett Chalmers, it's called, they were saying that minimum wait times in the emergency room to see a doctor was 18 hours. So if you're going there, expect to sit for at least 18 hours before you see a doctor, if you can imagine that. Then it was either Tuesday or Wednesday morning, I happened to notice the headline on one of the local papers here, the Daily Gleaner. It said Horizon Health, and that's the government agency that overlooks the hospitals, basically in the English part of New Brunswick. And it said Horizon Health asked people to avoid the emergency room if at all possible. So, my doctor is barely open and they tell you to go to the emergency room if you have an emergency and then if you go there, you're gonna wait 18 hours minimum and then the hospital themselves are telling you not to go. So, that's a quite a conundrum. I don't even, that, I'm just laying that out there. That's what we are faced with here in this part of the country. Also, I will say, last year in Canada, we're told, it's come out, that 22,000 people died while waiting for uh, medical procedures to see specialists, to get medical procedures, um, MRIs, operations, cancer, heart operations, stuff like that. So 22,000 people in Canada died while waiting, which maybe to some of you, the country, 40 million people, doesn't seem like a lot, but I guarantee you to the family members of those people, it's a pretty big deal. And we're also hearing that right now, there are four to five million people, I know that's a large 
spread, but there's four to five million people awaiting an appointment to see a specialist. Michelle has been waiting to see or to get a call back from a specialist for a long time. And yeah, and I, I think that the rheumatologists that I was supposed to see, I don't think they're even gonna ever call me at this point. But anyway, so our healthcare system here in this part of the world is desperate, right? I'm not gonna go on a tirade or anything I could. It would not help and you wouldn't enjoy listening to it. But when you hear Michelle or I say something about our healthcare system, we're not joking, it's desperate. The second thing I wanna talk about briefly is my work. This week, and New Year's was Monday. I understand that a lot of people were on holiday between Christmas and New Year, New Year's, whatever you wanna call it. But I expected that this week would be more of a normal week, but it wasn't. We were desperately slow. I have a dollar figure in mind that I need to make each day to make things go smoothly here. I only did that twice this week out of four days worked and two days I was significantly 25% shy basically of that figure. So it was scary. Now, recently the company, I say recently, about two, two and a half years ago, the company I worked for was purchased by another company and their vision is quite a bit different than the original owners, like the original Wes Armour. I guess I can say it because the company name is Armour, Wes Armour. They have a different vision as to how to run the business and they're making some pretty serious changes and it is impacting us. Now, with Armour, he had very few owner operators but with Seaboard, and that is the company that owns us now, they have a majority, I think. And I could be wrong, but they have a lot of owner operators, let's put it that way. So now what's happening is they're bringing owner operators into the mix more and more and really injecting them fast. They're coming on board fast. And those guys, I think, are gonna get a significant portion of the work. So my work situation is changing drastically. I've gotta go see my boss again on Monday because he was off this week. But um, I've gotta go see him this week and see if I can figure out what's going on a little bit because it's concerning. Now that being said, the economy is in the dumper. Most of you would know that. If you're in Canada, depending on what you do, it would be, I, I would think it would be pretty hard to not notice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in the US, you have your own issues, much the same as ours, but your own issues, and in other countries, I know there are silly things happening. Uh, one of our major customers announced this week that they are going to cut back. They've been running two full shifts. They're gonna cut back to one shift and half, over 100 people are gonna get laid off right away. And that's a food producer and it's a big deal. So they, they usually don't do that. They have before in economic slowdown, slowdowns, but they usually don't. So. There are some concerning signs out there and other little things that I'm noticing. I'm not trying to do the gloom and doom thing at all, but I'm just saying, if you're prepping, if you're able to stock up on some things, uh, do it without going into a bunch of debt. I always say that, you guys know that anyway, and I don't mean to come off as rude or a know-it-all. Just be careful, but be ready. The people, that aren't paying attention are gonna be in a mess. So anyway, that's my little rant. Hope it wasn't too much. Once again, I got another, I, I'm gonna start another video even today. My pantry 
overhaul. So stay tuned for that. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband, saying once again, if you have watched this far, know that I appreciate you. Please check to make sure you're subscribed if you believe you are. If you're not, why not? Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. We enjoy your comments, or I do. Uh, so yeah, just comment down below if you have anything you'd like to ask or say or anything like that. We welcome them. So this is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband, saying God bless and bye for now.